Hey everyone, this is Chris one b with an Alice tutorial, the second one, and this tutorial will cover basic animation using uh, your 3D window and how to, you know, an animate things in your world. So, what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to make a guy wave at the camera. Pretty simple. Uh, so, first of all, obviously we have to add the characters. So we go to Add Objects. This menu will open up and you scroll to the right and find the People tab. And it's right here. People. And then scroll over. Um, you can add whatever character you want, but I'm going to add this random guy. So, add instance to world. Or you can just drag him into the world, doesn't matter. And then use these up here to bring him closer to the camera. And then use this third one to rotate him to make him look at the camera. Alright, so... In Alice, it's a drag-and-drop interface, and you have to control each individual part. Uh, you don't have to, but uh, those are for more advanced users, and I'll show you how to do that in later tutorials. But for right now, basically, you have to control each individual subpart in its own. So what we're going to do is we're going to go Done, and right now, uh, as I said before in the other tutorials, this is your main programming box. You're going to do everything in this box. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the guy in this 3D window and all of his properties are going to appear right here. So you can make him move, turn, roll, resize, say, think, anything. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to make his left arm come up. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the little plus sign by the upper body and then click his left arm. And I will select his left arm. So what we want to do is we want it to t uh, move up, like turn upwards. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take, put our mouse on left arm turn, drag that into the programming box, and then it gives you a bunch of things you can do. You can either make turn left, right, forward, or backwards. And then when you when you hover over one, it gives you the amount. So what we're going to do is we're going to have him, his arm, turn forwards. Uh, how about a quarter of a revolution? Or sorry, 0.2. Uh, so if we press play, okay, that's not enough and it's going in the wrong direction. So, so forward, we're going to make it go backwards, and we're going to change that to 0 0.3. See what that looks like. Alright. Maybe do it with 0 0.4. Just a little bit more. If we play that, that should be fine. Alright, so now we're going to uh, make his his forearm turn a little bit because if you see when I press play his arm is kinda facing this way so we want his arm to face the camera so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the plus by the left arm and then uh, plus on the elbow and then click on his forearm and then we're gonna make that roll to the left and make it roll a quarter of a revolution. So if we press play, it's gonna, arm's going to go up. It's going to turn. Uh, so actually, what we want to do is we want to make it turn. So actually, go to turn, turn right, quarter of a revolution. So if we press that, goes up, turns like that. That's perfect. So, but that's not how a person does things. You know, they don't bring their arm up and then turn their hand. We want to do that at the same time. So that's where these buttons at the bottom come in. Alright, there's a button that says do in order, do together, uh, loop, and wait. And those are going to be the main ones that you use when you're a beginner. So what we're going to do, we want these to happen at the same time. So we're going to drag this do together up. It means we're, these are going to do the same thing together. And then all we're going to do is we're going to drag these two things inside of it. 
that means that he's going, his arm is going to turn and his arm is going to come up at the same time. So we press play, it does them both at the same time. So now what we want to do is we want to make him actually wave. So we're going to go back up to his left arm, click that, and I want his left arm to roll to the left. And let's try 0 0.05 revolutions. So we press play, his arm goes up, and then it moves to the to the left. Alright, but now we want him to actually weigh, so we want him to go back over to the right side. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the roll left, right click and then press make copy. and It'll make a copy of it, and we got to change this to go to the right. So now if we press play, it'll move to the right. Now, we don't want it to end up in the same spot. Again, we want it to go over to the right more, so we'll just double this number. So 0 0.1. Press play. Left, right. And then we can tell it to go left again. So we copy, make a copy of this, change this to left, and then change this to 0 0.5. Press play. And it looks fun. Uh, but now if we want that, instead if we want him to wave continuously a bunch of times, we don't want to just keep copying this over and over and over and over because it'll take up a ton of it'll take a ton of time and you know it'll just take up a lot of space. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a loop in there. We're just gonna make these three things loop over and over and over. So what we're gonna do is go down here where it says loop and drag that into the into the programming box and click ten times. And then drag all of these into that box. Make sure you keep the same order. You can't just put them all in there in random order and because it won't work. So press play and he waves and he waves again and he just does it over and over and you can use this thing up here, this little bar to speed things up So as you can see he does it ten times and then he'll stop alright so now we want him to put his arm back down so all we're gonna do, the easiest way to do that is to copy this first one make a copy and we're going to drag that to the very bottom all right and just reverse these two so make it go from backwards to forward and from right to left so let me go over what exactly what's going to happen his arm goes up and turns it does the wave 10 times and then it does this op exact opposite thing to make it go back down to this position. So if we press play, it'll go wave. Let me speed it up. And then it will go back down. Alright, so um, that's basically it. It's just those are the basic animations of Alice. Uh, I'll go into more detail of, you know, doing specific, you know, animations and just go a little bit more in depth in the next tutorials. So, um, see you next time.